everyone. Today for math, we are going to be working on um, looking at our tens and our ones and deciding how many ones there are in that entire number. Okay, so if I say that I have three tens and four ones, I want to know how many ones that is in all. So three tens would be the number 30. So that would be 30 ones because it, it would take 30 ones to make three tens because 10 ones are in one ten. So if three, if one ten has 10 ones, that would mean that three tens has 30 ones. So three tens is 30 and then four more would be 34, 34 ones. So if I have three tens and four ones, I have the number 34. So let's look at a couple examples. So on here, I've got, I've already got it separated to know how many tens there are. So I have two tens. So if I look inside those, I can see that there are ten ones in each set of those tens. So ten ones here is ten. Another set of 10 would be 20. So now I have 20 ones. And that is two tens. So two tens. And then I have five more ones. Five more ones. So two tens and five ones is the same as 25 ones. Okay? 25 ones. Because. If I look at this, then I see there are 10 ones in that 10, and there are 10 ones in this 10. 10 plus 10 is 20, plus my 5 more is 25. So 2 tens and 5 ones is the same as 25 ones. Let's look at this one down here. This one you have 4 tens, 1, 2, 3, 4 tens. And one, two, three ones. Remember that to make a ten, you have to have ten ones. So if one ten makes ten ones, that means there are ten, twenty, thirty, forty ones in our tens, plus three more, so forty-one, forty-two, forty-three. So four tens and three ones is the same as forty-three. Okay? See how we're just taking that tens number and that ones number? And we're basically just putting them together, okay? Last one. I'm going to turn this a little bit so you can see better. Don't look at my messy closet, okay? So this is one set of ten. So we have one ten. Do we have any ones? Nope, no ones. So one ten and zero ones. How many ones are in that ten? There are 10 ones in that 10. So 110 and 0 ones is the same as 10 ones because we have 10 ones right there in that 10. Okay? So your work today is the exact same as this. Oh, there is one more. I put it in a chart down here. So if you have two tens and four ones, two tens is 20 ones. So 20 and four more ones is 24 ones. Can't really see that for. There you go. 24 ones. Okay. So two tens and five ones is 25. Two sets of 10, five ones. Four sets of 10 and three ones is 43. One set of 10 and zero ones is 10 ones. And then two tens and four ones is 24. So this is your work for today that I posted. You have two pages of this where it gives you examples of tens and ones, and you need to tell me how many ones are in that whole number, okay? If you have any questions, please, please, please email me, text me, call me. I will answer any question you have. You can comment in Google Classroom with your question. Please let me know, okay, and I will help you through it. Have a good afternoon. Bye.